guys, it is Robin the Lady Biker. I am so excited to share this amazing road trip I recently enjoyed up to Calberry that sits on the turquoise coast of Western Australia with the Ladies Aglow, gorgeous ladies on wheels. We started our day by heading out of Perth to a small town on the outskirts where we collected the ladies that live north of the city to fuel up and to say farewell to those that could not come with us. Work is so disrespectful of our road trip time. <laughs> As we continued north, the land around us changed again and again. I love this stretch of road between Perth and Cervantes. It is wild how urban everything is close to Perth. And then all of a sudden, it changes and you are in the coastal countryside of Western Australia. After 230 kilometers, we made our way back along the coast and into Jurian Bay for fuel and a rest break. <laughs> it's a bit of an art form to manage fueling up the 36 bikes that were part of this length journey. And just like that, it was time to head out on the next 200 kilometer leg of the journey towards Geraldton. Allie and I made this leg of the trip, just the two of us, to spend time enjoying each other and to take in the ride through a part of Western Australia that we had never seen before. This was officially the furthest north of Perth. Either of us have been on the road since moving. After fueling up in Geraldton, we reconnected with the group at our lunch rally point near the port. After growing up on the western Gulf Coast, when I think of port cities, I do not think of beautiful sugary sand and clear water, but that is exactly what we found here. From this point, we collected a few additional bikes, bringing our merry band to a total of 39 bikes and a few cagers. We broke up into groups where some headed on to the hotel in Calberry, while a few others made our way to the Pink Lake. Yes, you heard correctly, a Pink Lake. The Pink Lake, also known as Hut Lagoon, is one of the most amazing things I have ever seen. It covers a 70 square kilometer area. Guys, that is over 17,000 acres. This lake sea is pink because of the large presence of naturally occurring red-orange algae that resides within the waters, turning it pink. I could try to give you the name of the said algae, but I would completely butcher the pronunciation. When I was told of this lake and did my initial research, I thought there was no way it could actually be pink. I truly believed that some people had to Photoshop the photos but it really is bubblegum pink. <laughs> As a fun side piece of trivia, the algae that turns the lake pink is often used for food coloring and in some cosmetics. Who knew? As the day was rapidly coming to an end, it was time to make our way to Calberry to check in and make our way to the beach for sunset. As I stood watching the sun sink into the ocean, I was struck by how amazing this moment was. I was seeing the other side of the world, sharing this adventure with Allie and a group of amazing women I am beginning to call friends. The women of GLOW and the men that encourage us never fail to have a fun time and to live life fully. And this trip was no exception. It is these moments in life that make me feel alive and grateful. For those of you that have stayed with me to the end, I am beyond grateful for you as well. My question for you, on a long trip like this, what is the one thing that makes a long ride more comfortable? 
For me, on this trip, it was my hydration pack. So until the story continues, get out and ride. When you do, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you on day two of this amazing trip.